The aim of this series of videos is to showcase houses which feature interesting or novel environmental approaches. In each video, the designer or architect walks you through the house and highlights key features. The environmental approaches that will be covered range from improved daylighting through to enhanced thermal comfort. The houses are from all over New Zealand, built to a range of budgets, from temporary holiday batches to everyday homes. We hope you'll be inspired in both the looks of the house and their enhanced utility. The first house in the series is located in Paikokariki, part of the Kapiti Coast region, and features a new build holiday home, designed by architects Bonifay and Giesem. We always start off from the, the form of the land, and this building was very close to another building we did across the road. We followed that form with the slope of the roof of that house. And so in the same way we did with that house, we, with, with the Lloyd's house, we wanted to have a roof that followed that, that angle of the land and was quite low and discreet and nearer the road, but rose up into a double form as it went away from the road. Also that idea of a gleaming jewel within the bush and obviously it's a site that's very densely bushed and so um, and, and a lot of sites you may not use a material that might be a bit glary and harsh but within this very dense forest environment it seemed a really ni nice idea to have a, quite a reflective material which is where we chose the, the aluminium and the mill finish aluminium so it has no paint on it. When we first put up it was very shiny and, and very low maintenance as well obviously and part of the economy of the project was to use a, a single material for the exterior cladding, the roof walls, every part of the building apart from a couple of little uh, inserts which are done in plywood and so obviously minimising waste in, in that regard and, and just a simplicity of jointing of you know not having to join many materials. Um, the plywood above the 2.4 datum is, is given a bit of a whitewash to, to give a bit of differentiation and lighten it up and afterwards it just has clear coatings so again, those are all just water-based um, clear coatings. The site is amazing and its pure north orientation is the view over Kapiti Island and so that was a real opportunity to, to make the most of, of, of that direct orientation and, and from that develop the idea of the sort of the veranda space which is a, an adaption of the, the traditional veranda being a, a heat sink which, which uh, gets a lot of sun during the day and, and is controllable with a series of, of sliding doors and louvers. And louvers are, are something which are predominant throughout the house and they allow ventilation through the house and there are examples of interior louvers also which allow movement between spaces within the house. The veranda space is, its floor is in the macro carpet so in that way it's to match the external decking and but the idea is there's a seamless transition between the interior, the, the veranda and the, the decking which all can act as one space or as three separate spaces depending on how, how it's being used and what the conditions are like. So we position the house on the same site as the existing small cottage um, and that meant that we didn't have to get rid of trees which was a, a, an important driver within the project as well for us. It was We really didn't want to get rid of any significant trees and in the plan form of the house you can see that we actually um, excavated if you like into the, the, the plan form of the house to allow two uh, mature trees to be retained and these become the bathrooms at each southern end of the house, southern side of the house south west south east and they have um, louvered glass windows which then open out onto those trees so those trees yeah become almost part of those spaces there's also decks to the south of the house or a deck to the south of the house which means that if there is a prevalent wind you can go out to that side and enjoy the early morning late evening sun yeah within the house we also developed a traverse view i guess we would call it which was along the, the length of the house. So when you're standing at the kitchen, you can look out to Kapiti Island, you can look out to the east or out to the west, or in fact to the south as well. Yeah, the house has a wet back, so it's heated with a log burner. And it has a ceiling fan, which stops all that hot air from accumulating in the high end of the building and, and pushes it down into the lower end of the building. And you'll see there's a interior louvre between the main bedroom uh, and the fireplace, so again th that louvre is right beside the fireplace so that heat is then allowed directly into, into the main bedroom. So the house is, is not a huge house in terms of its square metre area 
but we think the spatial quality of, is, is just as important and can make a big difference to the, the, the perception of a space. Obviously having large and connections from the interior to the exterior gives you a, a sense of space even in a small space and if a space has a high ceiling um, obviously the, the square metre area can feel a lot better, bigger and you won't feel claustrophobic. The walls throughout use 140mm framing which allows much higher level of insulation than a standard 90 mil. It's not a huge amount more expensive and it makes a big difference to, to the, obviously the, the feel in the, of the house. If you are an architect or designer and are interested in featuring one of your works, please contact Brands.